Hey guys, what's up? It's Cycle. And what is this? What game is this? It's Minecraft! Minecraft! So, I want to try doing Super Hostile. This is going to be my very first Minecraft video. We're going to try doing a Super Hostile series. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my Minecraft experience. Very first thing I saw of Minecraft, really, well, my friend played it a little bit, uh, like 1.4.2 or whatever update that was. And I first saw, my first Minecraft video that I saw was Etho doing a Legendary. And I thought that was so cool. Um, I watched the whole thing. That's how I got into Minecraft. And uh, when I started playing, I was playing on Hardcore. Because I thought it would be cool to do a challenge. And um, so, uh, that was my experience. And my friend and I, we did this thing. We played on Hardcore. And whenever one of us died, we would remake the map and try again that's how I played however recently I've been doing a lot of feed the beast stuff I'm used to having a um, mini map that tells me where everything is uh, I'm probably gonna die all the time for things coming around from behind also for this being my first capture the wool or complete the monument sorry complete the monument map uh, so welcome to super hostile number 12 inferno mines by vex we are playing on 1.5.2 which is the recommended uh, thinger and I don't know anything else about this map. I haven't watched anybody play it. Uh, we are going to enable the death counter. Now keeping track of players' deaths. That's it. Because I want to see how many times I die while playing this. I think it's going to be a lot. Choosing your path. Right click is the one. There, that's what we want to do. Put the right back. So, three paths. This map features three different starting areas that eventually lead to the same place. Skylights A, B, and C. If your friend or an LPR chooses one, try picking a different one so you each have unique experience. I haven't actually looked at any LPRs play this game, so I don't know which ones people will choose. I'll probably choose B because it's not A and it's not C. Each skylight has a level 1 flame bringer. Bringer, right? Yeah, for you to use as a starting weapon and also a bed. The flame bringer is good for leaving flames behind you as you retreat from enemies, but you may also want to get a sword or bow ASAP. Okay. Skylight A leads to a huge stockpile of lumber. Skylight B leads to a mushroom farm and a, and a tiny amount of wood. Skylight C leads to a barracks with many random loot chests. Oh my god, the loot chests, the random loot chests. I said B just for no reason, but if I'm going to get something like this, I think we're going to have to go with the random ones and just see what we can do. Good luck, Vex. I like Vex. Vex is cool. Okay, other notes. Is there a way of breaking these things? I haven't played vanilla in a long time. Sequence break. Sequence breaking in a video game is where a player accesses areas in an order that is different from the game de designers intended. Inferno Mines has many scenic vistas from which you can see other areas of the map. It's possible to bridge or mine all over the place and access these without taking the fun path. I thought about making additions to the map such as invisible ladders that when broken teleport that when broken teleport the player into lava or other things such as invulnerable gas and blazes that storm the player in an unstoppable cloud of death if you try to bridge out. Instead, I've done none of these things, thanks Vex. And decided to just leave it up to the player how they wish to play the map. Yeah, but we're gonna be awesome mode. So if they really want to make bridges all over the place, I'm not gonna try to stop you. I will only caution you that it might spoil your fun on the map, and if you're doing an LP, you should probably avoid it. Yeah, we we want to die a lot, that's what's gonna happen. You've been warned, serious scary face. <laughs> okay. Cool. And what's this thing? We'll talk about the rules too, but most people know the rules to a complete the monument stuff. Uh, system specs, just a heads up, this map pushes Minecraft to its limits, uh oh. Especially a few of the final areas. If you can just barely run vanilla Minecraft, you may have problems. I strongly recommend you seed Minecraft system minim minimum system requirements. If you're doing a Let's Play, you'll need an even stronger PC depending on how much of a footprint your recording software takes. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I just did a little bit of testing. I got a couple of frame drops. I hope everything works out alright. Um, if anybody sees this and they see some problems with the video that they think I should um, I should fix up, let me know, and I will uh, and let me know how to fix it too, and I'll do it. So final stress test, final area stress test, two point seven gigahertz dual core. I think we're running just like find Minecraft problems with that. Fraps, we're using OBS. Uh, modern average gaming PCs should be just fine. I think I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Is this here? 
now it is. All right, here are the rules. Standard rules. I hope that this. We're gonna turn the sound down just for a moment, just because of the the snow rain. Um. Oh, there's rain over there. There's rain like right here. Okay. Uh, super hostile standard rules. Find and complete the victory monument, which is uh, we have to get all different kinds of colored wool from fleecy boxes, which are designated wool treasure areas, and we're gonna put them on the victory monument when we find it. And we have to collect, collect all of them, and we get all the wool things from cool areas that are made. Uh, use at least peaceful or at least easy, never peaceful. We're actually going to be doing it on hard because I think it's the hardest one. Yeah, hard. So we are we want to die we want to really push it we don't want to die we're gonna try not to three do not leave the map boundaries no problem probably uh find the wool and chests do not use sheep dye spider silk yeah i want to i really want to do this I, i'm really excited i uh it's getting nighttime i've been talking so long i don't know if it'll make a difference um five survive any way you can think of lots of blocks you may craft res uh you may cl craft the resource blocks for the uh, victory monument so like if you have to get a block of iron and I get nine iron I can do it that way uh, you may use spider string wool for non victory monument uses beds dot 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 yeah um, you may not pick up move or craft ender chest so we can only use the ender chest as they are provided oh no the rain stopped I I've talked too long um, it'd be nice to not die right away. It's nice that there's glowstone and snow here so no mobs can spawn. Oh, there's stuff down there. Um, we have smooth light on minimum, by the way. Teleport to skylight A, wood. Skylight B, food. And skylight C, equipment. Oh, man. This is the part where I really want to know what to do. But we're going to go with C. Let's see what happens. We're gonna sleep today. Uh, I think it's an entirely enclosed map, so it doesn't matter. But here we are. There's lava. Um, we're on 1.5, so we also have to um, double tap to to run. But I'm I'm pretty used to it. Um, little little parkour jump things. I'm not so good at parkour. I never like practiced parkour or anything. But uh, we seem to be all right. Oh man, I'm actually so nervous for this. Um, I'd like to make this as entertaining as possible. There's already guys there. This is probably where we need to go. Um, so we're going to try to find our random loot chests that we were promised. Can I make that jump? Whoa, that's a half slab. I don't even know if I can make that jump. Oh, only one way to find out. We can make it. Flamebringer level 1. Flint and steel. So it's just a unbreakable thing. Ah, we'll take the chest. I don't know how much of this stuff I'm gonna need, but I, I feel like I'm gonna need blocks. Um, any higher that we can go? Can we break this with our fists? Does it just take forever? Ugh. Um. Yeah, here's the thing is I uh, I want to go up, but I don't feel like there's a way to go. Let's Oh yeah, psh, glass just breaks. Um all right. Well, no way to do anything than uh than to try, so It looks like there are no more easy ways up even if I could make that jump. Um it might be difficult to get over there. This is sand too, right? Yeah. So let's try the flame bringer. Does this not ignite? Oh, there it does. It's just a half slap, not ignite. Lol. Glass doesn't ignite either. Today I'm learning a lot of things. Uh, 
Aha. Fire wins again. Oh, it's so hard not having a sword. Let me tell you something. I would love to have a sword. Okay. All we did so far is kill a zombie and a creeper. Get literally nothing for it. We gotta find a sword as soon as possible, let me tell you. Haha. There we go. Man mode. Oh my god. We're on fire. Setting the zombie on fire is probably not the smart idea. Um. I don't even have like torches or anything. Zombie up there. Beautiful. All right, more guys up this. We're just gonna keep moving because I uh, I don't have torches for lighting. I don't have a weapon for anything. Uh, skeletons. I don't know how I'm gonna approach this. Oh no! Well, there's death number one. And there goes our flame bringer. Let's try again. Which is the way up? Wow. So, um, I tried taking my time going through this, but without the random loot chests that I've seen, that, uh, well, not with that I've seen, without any random loot chests at all that I was promised, I'm just gonna try to move as fast as possible. Derps. <laughs> Oh, flame bow. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're fine. We're okay. Come back, orange. Start. Good. 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 Start. Okay. Let's see. Bear hands. Bear hands. Get the crits. What does he say? Armory. Good. <laughs> wow. He's crazy. This is actually insane. I've never done anything like this before. Let's get in the room. Oh, there's a spider in here. Come on. There's two. Oh, man. Well, welcome to episode one. Deaths upon deaths. I, uh... This is rough. This is going to be way harder than I ever could have imagined. We have to use the uh, cliffs to our advantage. That seems to be the uh, the plan of attack. If I don't make any episode, or, oh, pig man, what? Look at this. This is actually insane. Oh man, maybe this shouldn't be the first uh, <laughs> the first one I ever tried. Maybe I should have uh, waited till night. Spawn rates? I don't think that does anything. Well, three derps, and here I was thinking in my head, ah, I've I've done some Minecraft things before. Maybe I'll I won't die at all. Lol. Okay, it seems to have calmed down here. Go like this. Some fall damage. We'll try to knock the spiders off. Does it just fall off? Okay. Alright. Doing fine. This is a much better start. And by start I mean, you know, dying and then keep going. I, I hope.
hope that there's no one in here. Okay. All right. Now we got something to start off with. There's my combat already to start indeed. Oh, but this feels so much better. Nether wart? <sighs> Do I even need books? Okay, well we got a sword and we got some armor. Making progress. All the lighting. <sighs> Staying nervous. Oh man. All right, I can finish off my armor. Bows. second the crafting table so we're gonna make a hat we're gonna drop all our stuff on the ground I'm gonna make a hat and I don't know what else I'm gonna use the leather for but we got bows upon bows to use we have still a golden pick we don't have any food that is a problem I'm unable to block off things too. Try not to be too jittery. Oh no. Oh no. Take out the spawner. Had to use the creeper to blow him up. Okay. Oh, my pick is gone. That was a one use. I hear him knocking. We're just going to take it all. We're going to make potions probably. Golden chest with projectile protection. Use it for now. Oh, man. All right. Who saw that coming? Uh, we'll go for another, like, five minutes or so. And um, try to find a good spot to end. Episode one. Probably title it something like Super Hostiles Are Easy. Has it aggro me yet? Okay, now he has. Go, 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 Welcome to Cycle Plays Infernal Mines. Infernal Mines. Infernal would be pretty cool. Um, I am a very good Minecraft player. Um, I have a lot of experience playing this game. Um, as you can see, I'm already like the next Etho. Minecraft Untechnical. Look at my skills. Um, you know, I also give lessons on how to play, how to play Minecraft. I do, I do coach Minecraft coaching. It takes a lot of blocks. Um, you gotta place the blocks and also mine them. There's a lot of crafting involved in um, in Minecraft, and also a lot of mining. Both of these things you need to do it in in good balance to to do everything you need to. We're going to shoot this guy. Um, everything is all good. Everything is peachy. Okay. We're going to go into this room. We're not going into this room. We're going to go into this room that lit up. And we're going to equip two, two, three. This goes there. Oh, I, I do have my pig. I just must have messed something up. Equip these. Oh, good thing I made, uh, I have all this leather to make pants that I, t I lost. And, well... We're going to end the episode here. 
Um, zombies knocking at her door. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. I've already got five derps on episode one. This is my first thing, and I only did this made to the armory. So, uh, I don't know. Let's project a good um, 50 to 100 deaths by the end of it. Uh, or you can leave a comment and let me know how many times you think I'm going to die. You can probably gauge my Minecraft experience from what you've seen here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.